What's up, SL family, and welcome back to my channel, Life with Yaya. This is your girl, Yayoi, and today I am here coming out of nowhere with an announcement, and that is that I am trying to conceive a baby with my fiance. Yes, my fiance with the new Love Mama body. I am trying it out in beta and I am going to go through all of the steps with you so that you all know what to expect once the body comes out in February. So without further ado, let's just go ahead into it. Please excuse any um, changes in intonation or you know any noises that you may hear throughout this video. I am not in my regular recording space. I am out with family for the holiday. So yeah, just ignore all of that and let's just go right to it. All right, so I just came I tested negative for my pregnancy, which means that I have to keep trying until I am pregnant on the actual love mama body. Uh, right now my mood is very low. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy, actually, hold on, cause I don't think you can see what I'm clicking. All right. I think you can maybe see where my, where my mouth is now, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase some water, some hunger booster, and a rest booster. I'm trying to get my mood up. Start with this water. Tail Gunther. So basically, if I um, maintain my mood, my fertility rate or my fertility meter here at the top. Um, raise this and you have to actually click to use so now I have 35 thirst I'll probably get more I'm, I'm assuming that you need to be at 100% but you can see already that my mood booster has been raised um, if I click on this baby here you can see that my fertility is 35% I have one egg still available and I have 8% mood. So basically I need to do some work if I wanna have a baby because that 35% is not gonna get me anywhere. <laughs> so I've already, once I've clicked my drink, I've used it all up. I probably just took something out that was not my drink. I have all these different attachments on. Let me get my lollipop for my hunger boost. And I really like that I don't have to just sit here. Like, you all notice that I have to be you hurt as well. And with that, you have to take more time to eat and do things. Literally, once you click to use the item, even though I can't see it, I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's not loaded yet. There it goes. Once you click the items, you use it that one time and you're done. So I can detach that. And then next I need to get a little bit of a boost from my energy. So the cool thing about the little pillow is that you can res it anywhere. This little rest pillow. Yeah, you better buy it for me. You're trying to put this baby in me. I got a dress all different now. <laughs> but yeah, you can rest, um, res this rest pillow anywhere. And then kind of just lay on it for a second and get some rest. So if you want to, you can just keep it on the floor. But I'm extra. Boom. She's going to rest on the couch. Just sit on it. Oh, wrong direction. 
see that? That's pretty dope, right? So now my rest is boosted and you can see my mood is going up. Still not good though, so I'm gonna delete all these things I've already used. My pregnancy test that showed that I was negative. I'm gonna stand because I've already rested. And I'm gonna get some more of this stuff. Mm, I didn't get pickle this time. I like pickles. Looks like a naked. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite juices. Except I like strawberry banana. So boosted, boom, detach, pickle. I'm very curious to see what this. Pickle looks like. Mm. Looks delicious. I'm just playing. <laughs> so my hunger is up to 69 now. And then I'm going to rest one more time. He's really sending me a lot of shirts. I'm gonna rest on the floor this time, guys. I'm really just trying to get my stuff up right now. Oh, no boost, so I can't even use this right now. My mood is already up as much as it can be on my pillow. But, why are your eyes closed? You're not asleep. But I will get some more to drink and I will eat until that is to 100% if that is possible. Get my thirst boost. Oh, they gave me a tomato soup with thirst. Okay, hunger boost. Chocolate donut. Now, that is something that I would never eat in real life. Okay, so your thirst can go past 100 and your hunger can go past 100. I wonder if the goal is 200 too. Look how she just looked at it like, should I eat this right now? So I'm going to delete those on the end one more time. And we're going to get one more each. should have me do it. Is this my flavor? No. I told y'all, strawberry banana. 
I'm gonna be really excited when I see that. Alright, so drink the power juice. Did I drink that power juice? Hold on. I already used it, okay. So yes, one time only guys, one time only. And then we have this granola. Let's see what this looks like. I really can't wait to find more clothing options like this. This isn't doing it for me. What is this texture? Jeez. I don't know it looks delicious though. All right, my hunger has been boosted. All right, I'm gonna go for the gusto one more time. Thirst, hunger, coffee and peanut butter cookie. What I like though about these um, different little attachments that they give you for your thirst and hunger is that they're actually kind of cute to just walk around and have in your hand. Like this coffee cup is cute. Definitely good for people who love to role play. So, you click that. I'm just gonna see if this helps my mood anymore or if I'm just wasting stuff. Because again, this is like a test. Y'all can learn from me and saving money if it's not really doing anything. Maybe at the same point, you don't get any more boost from stuff. So yes, I've boosted my hunger, I've boosted my thirst. And I'm still stuck between yellow and green, which shows that I am wasting my money and time with eating more and drinking more. There's only so much I can do at this point, I'm assuming. So I'm going to stop with that. I'm sure, I still can't rest. So I think I've boosted my mood up as much as I can. Um, now, I'm only at a four in my uh, fertility stage. And my fertility is only at a 39%, which means that if we try for a baby, chances of us actually having one are pretty slim, but um, we are trying to have a baby. So we're just gonna keep going. So, we're not going to show this stuff on YouTube, but again, what you're going to do is you're going to click on how long should love last, I'm going to say two minutes, use a minute, I'm just playing, I'm not about to put it <laughs> like we just trying to make this quick, we done already got our pregnancy on our mama hood, we just want to get it on a love mama body, so gonna go for the two minute gusto and I'm going to send out a love quest to good women okay so um, he has responded you are beautiful let's make some family yes <laughs> so now he has to stay with close to me without interruption in order for you know nature to happen um, now Realistically, realistically, 
you would then go and do those next steps. Um, you can, you know, stand here like this, or you can go to a bed, or... But it gives you the opportunity to actually role play the situation rather than, um, you know, not know what's going on. He's saying he's on marketplace. He's still looking for big on mesh. <laughs> But yeah, we've already went through these steps already like plenty of times. So at this point, we just want a pregnancy. So I guess I'm failing in role playing this aspect, but <laughs> whatever. Almost full. See that heart there? It's almost red, which means that <sighs> there's a chance that. I may or may not be pregnant after this, but it will take either three days for it to show or um, you should know saying you can use the pregnant sisters give you access to this one hour after conception. So yeah, I have to wait about an hour and then I'll be able to do a pregnancy test to see if it's negative or positive. Um, fingers crossed, I mean, it doesn't seem like the chances will be very good with a 39% fertility, but um, we're gonna try in about an hour. I'm gonna do a pregnancy test and see. If not, we're not gonna try again today. Um, ideally, we would wanna wait between day two and three when it's kinda at its peak. I've already missed that mark. We tried that during that time and it didn't work, but that was actually our first time as well. And my mood also was not high which could have a lot to do with it. So definitely you want to make sure that your mood booster is boosted as much as possible. Um, and that you, you know, are doing it within your cycle at its highest periods. Um, so yeah, we're going to see, I'm going to test it out for you that you see um, from my experience, what would be the best way and step to take um, in order to, reach pregnancy on the mama bad body um but yeah i'll be back in about an hour all right guys i am back it has been an hour since gunther and i have tried to conceive this child and i am excited to just take my pregnancy test to see um if i am pregnant or not so, oh yeah, wardrobe change. I had to get myself together, guys. Like, I was not feeling that shirt. I wasn't feeling wearing the gym shoes or the sneakers. So I just changed into a little something that kind of had a little bit more uh, mesh hanging off of me, if that makes sense. I put a belt on with this um, shirt. This is also a baked on mesh shirt. And I'm put this purse on. Uh, you know, just something that made me not feel like all my clothes are stuck to me. Um, I'm gonna do another video too on my style um, with this body until there are more clothes rig, based baked on mesh options and things that I feel like works for me and my style. And if you have a similar style to me, then these are some items that might work for you as well. But yeah, I'm very happy with this look. Gunther is very close. He's hoping for a baby too. Look at him, he is all on me right now. But yes. Um, I will do a whole video on the body uh, and its components and you know uh, more about the hood and how the hood works and everything but right now it's just very important that we actually conceive this baby so I'm going to do that first um, then I'm going to have to hurry up and run and grab me some food for my BU hood because I was hungry um, but yes let me go ahead with this i'm gonna go to the mama section of the hood i'm gonna go to the pregnancy store 
and I am going to get a pregnancy test for 100 Linden or AB credits. Um, AB credits and Linden equal the same amount, if you are wondering. I'm going to pull this from my inventory and take this test. It literally only takes a second to get the results. So, oh, fingers crossed. I don't want two negative tests, but I got a feeling I will. I got a feeling I'm going to have a negative. I really feel like I'm going to have to wait for day two or three. Let's see. All right, again, uh, test results may be inaccurate for the first hour after conception. Each test can only be used once. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm pregnant. Yes, yes, guys. Let me turn my sound on in case Billy is really excited. And you might not even be at the keyboard. Let me dance, hold on. I gotta do my little happy dance. Yes, hold on. Guys, I'm so excited. Like, there you go. <laughs> Yay! Look, he beat me too. <laughs> Yay! Look, look, my dance stupid. <laughs> Hold on, I think this is what I was looking for. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ooh, ooh, kill it. Kill it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So with a 39% chance of conception, I still was able to make it happen, Cappy. Let's go. I'm excited. All right. So as you all can see, I am a mommy-to-be. Oh, my gosh. Look at my feet hanging out my shoes. So that's another thing. Again, this is beta. But this is something that I would suggest is being able to remove our feet um, for items that we can't rig. But I'll again, I'll discuss more of that kind of stuff um, in another vlog. But yes, I am. I'm very happy. <sighs> so guys, uh, that just shows you right there that your mood is very important for your fertility and everything. So please do not let your mood slip down if you're trying to get pregnant. You want to make sure that you maintain that. Um, and now that I am pregnant, I will have to, uh, <laughs> I will have to um, get ready for that process. Um, man, I have my genetics too. Now, I think these are pretty accurate. Uh, for me, I have my skin this color with black hair green eyes and his skin is a little bit darker it's, if it is i can't really tell it might not be he has like a brown he might actually have back hair i feel like his hair is like dark brown though and then he has brown eyes he's still excited look at him he's still dancing <sighs> how exciting oh my god this is my first second life pregnancy okay guys so now it is time to actually start the term for my pregnancy. I've already conceived the child, but my term won't start until I click that little baby under the love mama pregnancy and I select the term length. I can do nine days, nine weeks, nine months, or I can return the seed and kind of cancel the pregnancy. But I'm choosing nine weeks and I'm gonna go ahead and start my term. I feel like two months and a week is enough time in order for me to fully go through the experience without having to wait a whole nine months like I would in real life, considering that this is a game. So I have my tea, I have my pizza that I'm about to grab here. And now I am totally ready to go ahead and boost those stats in order to get my mood up. So, okay, let's go ahead. Why not? 
Let's walk around to my house, you know, make some RP of it. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat at the kitchen counter and uh, go ahead and fulfill these, these stats really quick. Guys, I know I'm still due to show you all the updates to my house. I know it's been completely different since the last time you've seen what this inside of this house looks like. It's also in a whole different region as well. Um, but I am currently uh, waiting on my fiance to also finish decorating um, in the house, adding his touches to make it feel more like home to him since we are now moving in together. Um, we chose to move into my home because my house is near the country club and I like to be there um, Like nearby in order to see anything happening at the club So yeah, we are in, Moving into my house and you know what honestly I have been loving so far seeing The changes that he is making them to make it feel more like his home It just it feels less like just mine and now it really feels like we kind of stay together so i really do enjoy that uh, aspect of everything so i'm just going back to my objects to grab the rest pillow that i already had guys make sure that you delete the extra pillows okay once you copy them you kind of have this first of all my couch did not just try to expose me like that <laughs> you don't act like we didn't see that invisible couch but yeah make sure once you raise the pillows you don't take them back delete them you don't need the copies okay but yeah so if i was really trying to do some rp right now and it wasn't just a straight up blog i made you know rest on my couch a little longer you know i might not just get the points and disappear And please excuse any extra noises as you hear in this video. I am not at my home. I am in my family's house for the holidays and it is very hard to get a quiet environment. Also, please do not pay attention to these unrigged boots. Like this is really like embarrassing. Um, last time I wear anything unrigged while I'm recording a vlog, I will say that much. I usually don't wear unrigged items, but that's kind of how I, the cookie crumbled today. So now as you can see after doing all of that, I am still only at the green. Um, I am not in the blue. Um, a thirst boost, a hunger boost, or a rest boost will not save me. What I need is love. Um, love being 25% of all of my stats, I will need to have some actual interactions with the baby's father, with my fiance. So uh, that is something that I will need to call on him to do. As you can see, I can't do a love quest when no one is around me. I just tried, no one's near. So I will be having to, you know, contact Gunther and tell him, you know, we need a little love, you know. So I will show you all how that works. Um, and I clearly wanted to see if maybe boosting my rest that little bit would work. So as you can see, um, you can't just keep on trying to rest throughout the day. I think you only get one time to do that every 24 hours or so. And again, I just deleting all these extra pillows so I don't have like a thousand pillows laying around the house looking like I'm just so lazy. But yeah, uh, that is pretty much uh, that portion. All right, so I am going to send out a love quest to Gunther because as I showed you all before on my HUD, my happiness is 25% love. So 25% of the things that I boost my mood, being hunger, thirst, and rest, one of them is love. And I could fulfill that by going to my love quest and selecting good villain, who is Gunther. And I can select any of the options. Can I get a kiss? Can I get a hug? Do you love me? Did you know I love you? Would you like to make a baby? Wanna bang? I'm gonna say, did you know I love you? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Good villain replies, I can see it in your eyes and feel it in your touch. Yes. So as you all can see, my mood has boosted up from the yellow to the green. Almost to the green. I'm going to send another one. Oops, wrong one. Love quest. I'm going to say, did you know that I love, um, or do you love me? I love you from the moment I met you. Yes. And Gunther and I um, actually have known each other since high school. So that says a lot. We haven't been together since then. We actually have dated other people. We've, <laughs> we've just been around and never with each other. And we finally decided to just go ahead and try this thing out. We started as business partners. Um, and you know how it is when you get close to people you work with sometimes and sometimes you see more or maybe working with somebody helps you see what you kind of were ignoring but yeah somehow this guy Oh, look. See, now nah, I didn't know that this would happen. So let me check my help, my happiness. So really, I can reach out for maybe one more love and then satisfy my rest and my hunger and then I might be good. So let's see. Send out one more love quest, and then uh, I just want to give him a hug. He's choking me. <laughs> All right. So, I think you should stay. You'll get it. So, um, as I wait for this response, he actually, him and his mom, I think, um, came and helped set up my nursery, or our nursery for the baby. He was so ready. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm, I need to grab something to eat. I need a hunger boost. a sandwich. Yes. All the spaces in between. It's magic when I place you in the blue. And your average day is spent all in the shoes. And the fabric when I tell you what you mean. Chemistry. So I have this room in my house that I never use for anything. And now, look at it. Aww. Clearly thinks we're having a boy. I don't want to disappoint him and have a girl. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm going to have a baby at Yoy though. What do you guys think? Am I going to have a girl or a boy? I really can't wait to do stuff in here with my baby. It's so adorable.
Like this is really, really dope, guys. I really love it. Look at the texturing on this sandwich though. Like, hold on. Look at the texturing. They did so good with their texturing. Somebody in my country club right now. Oh no, they nearby. I was about to say. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you all uh, me maintaining my happiness after my conception. Um, as you all can see, I am in the green. And I think the one little boost that I need is to, oh my gosh, please ignore him messing with my boobs. <laughs> but um, I just need to lay on this pillow. So I'll show you that right now and see how far up that takes me. Oh yeah, remember we said that we were going to try a pillow that I already had to see if that worked or if I had to get a new, a new one. I'd rather do that right now. They said it's too soon, but I wonder if it's because of this pillow. You know what I'm saying? What if I get another pillow? These other ones are copies, so I'm going to just keep these. So let's try with a fresh pillow. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest this, rest this pillow. Oh my gosh, what is this here? I need to fix that. Okay, focus. It's still too soon, so I may have deleted that other one for no reason. Why is he? <laughs> oh my 
it that was hilarious. So you know, your your significant other cannot get on there with you, okay guys? It's not gonna work. Yeah guys, that is all that I wanted to show you all as far as the conception, managing my mood booster, um, and how that mood booster possibly helped with my conception, and yada yada. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time with another video. Thank you.